closure of schools, colleges and universities by different countries was an urgent need of the current situation, which prevailed in most countries of the world as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Ghana, like other nations, took preventive decisions on COVID-19, as the World Health Organization recognized it as a global pandemic. However, the shutdown of most schools and colleges has greatly impacted the academic calendar, which in turn has tremendous effect on the academic syllabus. We now take a look at how these has affected Ghana. And to shed more light, we have a, a manager of Yali TV, Selassie Oso, joining us from Accra. Thank you so much for joining us on News on the Hour. The pleasure is mine. So Selassie, please bring us up to speed with what has become of the educational sector in Ghana since the pandemic and the lockdowns. Briefly, um, I'll throw light on some of the statistics I've gathered. Um, schools were closed down in Accra, Ghana, and across the 16 regions of the country due to the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, and since then, the government has had mixed uh, decisions on when the educational system in Ghana should open. Um, stakeholders have been advocating that schools should open because of some challenges that are enumerated, some challenges related to um, some of the young folks getting involved in promiscuity that will affect uh, some of the students not being able to go back to school. Some are involved in some other activities and biases that are affecting the education. And, and so there have been mixed feelings. But the, the president, in his uh, uh, recent address last week, stated that um, the final year students of the senior high school who have actually started their uh, West Africa Examination Council exams or their WASI exams on the 20th of July will be ending their examinations on the 5th of September. And also the president gave directives that the junior high school students in their final year, which about 584,000 young Ghanaians will have to return to complete their um, basic education uh, examination of uh, BEC examination in, on the, uh, on the, that the 18th of September this month. So they will be completing their examination on the 18th, will begin on the 14th, and the senior high school students will complete here on the 5th of September. So far, the president has also given directions that the 146,000 teachers and staff of the students that will be, uh, be taking care of during the exam will have to be granted hot meals every day throughout the examination day between the 14th and the 18th. And so far, um, there have been calls by uh, civic groups, by educational enthusiasts that push will open, but the president has stated that as we speak, there have been dialogues between stakeholders in the educational sector and are agreeing that school should reopen at a latter date after all protocols have been accepted. Also, the Minister of Education, who recently was affected has recovered, has announced that he will not risk the life of young Ghanaians, forcing them to go to school, even though they have been called, even from the opposition, that school must be open. So right, that's so the brief of the situation in the country. Okay, okay. we recall that uh, the Ghanaian government and educational institutions uh, suspended face-to-face -face learning uh, activities in March 2020. So how would you access that decision? I think it has, it has come with a, a, a double-edged sword situation because there are many young people in the country who currently do not have access to internet. So uh, imagine a young folk in a countryside of the country who has to resort to online education. Nevertheless, the Ministry of Education launched uh, what we call the uh, learning radio, whereby uh, they started an online television and radio uh, platform that enables young Ghanaians in the junior high school and the senior high school to connect to this platform to learn across the country. Also, the universities or the tertiary institutions have switched onto um, digital or virtual learning platforms, even though it used to be the case in some months before the lockdown. But so far, so good. Um, most of the universities have switched uh, onto online learning platforms, of which the president has given directives that all the universities, except the University of Cape Coast, should move on to 
virtual learning platform to enable educational programs to, on, to go on during this period while the stakeholders come to a conclusive decision. And that has also been one of the challenges with the senior high school and junior high school students. Most of them don't have the gadgets to connect, but so far so good. Um, there have been a number of NGOs who have come up with uh, platforms, media houses have started running uh, learning platforms to ensure that the, the, they support the government from the private sector to ensure that our children's education or the young folks are not left behind in the interventions that have been uh, prescribed by the government of that. Mm. So in the light of this, would you say that online education or virtual learning is the way forward uh, globally? And what's the reality, especially in Ghana? Uh, last two weeks, uh, we had an encounter uh, with some of the educational um, uh, stakeholders. We specifically spoke with the rector of um, um, Blue Crest University College, and he made an assertion that it has become very essential going forward for Africa to look at the virtual learning space or online learning as a tool, not just as an option or an utility, but as a main tool to ensure that going forward, even though there will be reopening of schools in the future, we, we, depend, we depend strictly on online learning platforms to ensure that we do not lose out on the way the world is moving forward. We are encouraging a number of universities, they are encouraging senior high schools, they are encouraging basic universities to ensure that they do not miss the opportunity of technology. Technology is, has come as a tool for us. Uh, now when our movie industries have resorted to online learning, excuse me, have resorted to virtual platforms to stream their movies, we have Netflix that has become a very essential tool for the movie industry. So it's important universities, secondary schools, basic schools, we start to online learning platforms and bring some fun attached to it to ensure that um, our young folks don't just use their phones for, for social media interactions, for TikTok videos, but they resort to it as a tool for education moving forward in the 21st century. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Selassie, joining us from Ghana to discuss this. It's always a pleasure.